Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Ekta Bhushan teaching anatomy and physiology of exercise, sports medicine and exercise prescription at Indira Gandhi Institute of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, University of Delhi. I welcome you all to online lectures of CEC UGC. In this series, we will discuss different topics associated with sports medicine. But today in particular, we will discuss the topic contrast path and whirlpool path. So, what is contrast path? A contrast path is a physiotherapy treatment in which all or a part of the body extremity is immersed in hot but not boiling water followed by immediate immersion in the cold water repeatedly. So, this method has been proposed to increase blood flow in the immersed body part without increasing or caused edema. So, usually a fixed time ratio uh, of 3 or 4 minutes in a hot water to 1 minute in cold water and this contrast path protocol is performed for five, uh, 4 to 5 cycles. The alteration of hot and uh, cold water stimulates a, a vascular pumping action caused by vasodilation uh, that is because of hot water and vasoconstriction because of cold water. So, hypothetically this will stimulate the local circulation in the treated extremity and it is also increased circulation in the uh, contralateral untreated extremity to a lesser extent. So, however, in 2009, a systematic review of 28 studies from 1938 to 2009 found evidence that contrast bath may increase skin temperature and superficial blood flow. Contrast bath have been found to cause fluctuation in blood flow during a 20 minute treatment. The form of hydrotherapy described um, about this is commonly used in clinical practice when the treatment goal is to obtain the benefit of heat such as decreased pain and increased flexibility while avoiding increased edema. Now, um, we are encountering one word repeatedly and that word is edema. Now, let us understand the term edema. So, what is edema? Edema is the accumulation of fluids in the uh, interstin uh, interstitial space and the swelling is the enlargement of tissues resulting from edema. Now, you understand the difference between the term swelling and edema. So, the initial choice of immersion either in hot or cold water depends upon the cause. So, if you want to treat the edema, then start the treatment by first immersing in the cold water followed by immediate immersion in the hot water. And if you want to treat the pain, start the treatment by first immersing in hot water followed by immediate immersion in the cold water. Now, the physiological uh, effect of contrast bath. So, Woodman say uh, in 1938 published the first article on the physiological effect of contrast immersion. After various episodes of immersion in cold versus hot water, uh, Woodman say observed alteration in blood flow through a recording surface skin temperature in healthy versus rheumatic patients. This is because uh, blood vessels constrict in cold water and dilate in hot water. So, acknowledging the result of Woodman say in 1938, contrast immersion therapy was seen by many practitioners as a mean of passive vascular exercise similar to the active vascular exercise induced or caused by voluntary contraction. In other words, 
it was believed that this passive method activates or triggers a peripheral and deep uh, deep vascular pumping action similar to that observed experimentally during voluntary muscle contractions so therefore contrast immersion is a great option for patients who suffer difficulty in voluntary joint movement due to trauma or pain it enhances blood flow and reduced residual edema in traumatized soft tissues so how does contrast bath therapy work so the key to contrast bath therapy is the rapid changes produced in your circulatory system when you go from warm water to very cold water when you submerge part or all of your body part in cold water small blood vessels called capillaries respond to the cold by getting smaller and this is known as vasoconstriction and when you immerse yourself in warm water the opposite happens your blood vessels open up and this is known as vasodilation so different wa- different water temperatures also cause changes in how fast your heart beats show that co- uh, cold water causes your heart uh, rate to speed up and while hot water slow it down so how to uh, how do these uh, circulatory changes helps you when you rapidly alternate between hot water and cold water water uh, cold water immersions your blood vessels open and close in a pulsing and pump like motion some uh, proponents uh, think that pumping actions can help relieve various injuries symptoms now science backed benefits and importance of contrast bath so contrast bath therapy is considered a passive from a uh, form of therapy aside from some gentle motion you might perform uh, you aren't uh, actively moving or stretching your muscle as part of this treatment research has shown that active therapies are generally more effective than passive ones especially when it comes to pain management passive interventions should be used as a adjunct to active therapies even so there is some evidence that contrast hydrotherapy could help with certain conditions and symptoms and here's uh, what the evidence has to say so first one is reduces fatigue athletes might find that the contrast hydrotherapy helps elevate post game fatigue a 2017 meta analysis of the research found that the contrasting hot and cold baths helps team sports players recover from fatigue 24 to 48 hours after the game immersion in cold water alone didn't provide the same benefit then decreases muscle soreness intense exercise cause damage to your muscle fiber but you might not feel sore until a day or so later this is called delayed onset muscle soreness researchers measured both domes and muscles weakens weakness in elite athlete following strenuous workout they found that the contrast bath therapy improved both the soreness and weakness better than passive resting alone and two factors should be noted in this first researchers found that the best result happened when the hot water temperature was lower than uh, 40 celsius and second the other po- uh, popular therapies such as immersion in cold water alone were about as effective as relieving these symptoms as contrast bath therapy was next one is removes uh, excess lactic acids 
when you exercise vigorously lactic acid builds up in your body the accumulation of lactic acid is normal but it can make you feel tired and sore you can ease the symptoms of lactic acids build up in your body uh, by resting drinking water taking a magnesium supplement and following a few other uh, simple protocols two studies conducted in 2007 showed that contrast bath therapy can also help decrease the lactic acid in your body helping you recover from the soreness and fatigue from strenuous exercise next is uh, decreases swelling so when you get injured um, part of your body's normal infl- uh, inflammatory re- uh, response and rush of fluid and white blood uh, cells to injured area the build up of this uh, fluid can exert pressure on the injury and cause pain so there is some evidence that contrast baths reduce swelling in a 2016 study involving 115 people with ankle sprain contrast hydrotherapy lessened swelling uh, around 3 days post injury now let's see how to do contrast bath so people who use contrast uh, bath therapy usually do uh, so with the help of a physio- physical therapist or athletic trainer your therapist uh, could also instruct you to perform some gentle exercises while you are in the water though many people do contrast therapy while uh, supervised by a professional therapist it's possible to try it on your own check with your doctor first to make sure it's safe for you so for you uh, so for that you'll need two containers or uh, tubs large enough to submerge either your whole body or your injured body part a thermometer to measure the water temperature and towels so let's see the uh, step 1 step number 1 takes two container and fill one container with hot water uh, at uh, 104 degree fahrenheit or 40 degree celsius and another one with the cold water of 45 to uh, 70 degree fahrenheit or 7 to 21 uh, degree celsius ne- uh, then step 2 start immersing the treatment body part in hot water and keep it for 3 to 5 uh, 3 to 4 minutes then step 3 then transfer to cold water and keep it for 1 minute continue uh, continue this process till water comes to normal temperature then step 4 end with cold water if you need to reduce swelling end with warm water when treat me uh, treat when you are treating so contrast bath time ratio is in in hot water you have to um, uh, stay with 3 uh, to 4 minutes and in cold water you have to stay with 1 minute only and now uh, let's uh, see some indication and contraindications uh, while taking contrast bath therapy so indications are post traumatic mild swelling pain due to a uh, mild swelling yeah, we have to do all this when uh, we have to do contrast bath if we are facing these indications so edema chronic inflammation reducing muscle soreness removing ex- uh, excess lactic acid reducing fatigue improving range of motion now let's see uh, contraindications if we 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 should not do uh, contrast bath if we have uh, open wounds infection or infected wounds impaired sensation local malignancies a uh, recent hemorrhage diabetes or any skin allergies 
Now we will start with um, whirlpool bath. So what is whirlpool bath therapy? The whirlpool bath uh, is a huge tub that is filled up with water. The body part that is to be treated is then positioned in the tub of water and a small motor ferments the water. While in the water, you can move your body parts to assist with working on the movement around the injured area. So, therapeutic stainless steel, fiberglass or plastic tank that, uh, that uses uh, turbulence to agitate and aerate uh, waters into uh, which the body or body parts of it and is immersed. Tank comes in different sizes to accommodate the treatment of different body parts and um, it tends to be uh, made in any size uh, tub or tank making it possible to submerge the entire body for a hydro massage effect. The temperature of the uh, water in a whirlpool can be warm or cold depends, uh, depending upon the ideal objective. And uh, the common place temperature of a warm uh, whirlpool is 98 to 110 degree Fahrenheit. Um, care should be taken to keep away from consumption. And uh, warm uh, whirlpool uh, pools can increase circulation as the intensity assist with opening up little veins in the body. Expand uh, flow can bring new blood, oxygen and cells to the injured region which can promote healing. A cold whirlpool is normally between 50 to 60 degree Fahrenheit. Cold whirlpool cause the arteries in the body close which uh, can assist with diminishing flow to the body part being treated. This is utilized to manage inflammation and swelling in the harmed body part. A common whirlpool treatment goes on from uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. Your physical therapist might have um, might have you uh, play out specific exercise while your body part is in the whirlpool to assist with working on the scope of movement in the body uh, part in the body part being. So there are some types of whirlpool baths, low boy tank, high boy tank, Hubbard tank, butterfly space and extremity tank. Let's start with low boy tank. So, the low boy tank uh, can be used, utilized to permit an adult to sit in the tank and can go in the limit of 75 to 105 gallons. High boy tank now and then referred to as a hip or leg tank can permit immersion of both lower extremities. The limit can go from 60 to 105 gallons. Then Hubbard tank, a tank of reasonable size and shape for use in dynamic or pacific, uh, pass, uh, passive uh, submerged exercises. Uh, it is additionally utilized for the debridement of burn and different injuries. And the Hubbard tank has more prominent potential for exercise during treatment because of its size and can accommodate a full body treatment limit and can run any uh, place ranging from 200 gallons excess to 400 gallons water. Now extremity tank, the extremity tank is usually utilized uh, for the upper or lower extremities uh, and has a limit of 10 to 45 gallons of water. Now, let us see therapeutic effects of whirlpool bath. So, whirlpool bath joins the values of conductive intensity 
and gentle massage the hydro massage effect achieve the following therapeutic effects a soothing uh, activity a uh, help of torment by improvement which act through a agony walk instrument and unwinding of muscle fits goals of um, whirlpool bath so the typically goal of whirlpool bath used in the physical therapy clinic includes decrease swelling control inflammation promote wound healing improve motion decrease pain and decrease muscle spasm and common injuries and conditions that may be treated with whirlpool therapy uh, that includes ankle fracture plantar fasciitis uh, lis frank dislocation uh, coles and smith's fracture ankle sprain tennis elbow ankle ankylos tendon rupture and tendonitis etc now use of whirlpool bath it can be used in burns if no agitation is used open wound for debridement purpose post operative orthopedic conditions where uh, the water will add a buoyancy element to eliminate the weight of the extremity for movement as a resistance force for exercise now techniques of application so place the body part in the water encourage the patients to move while keeping in the body part under water during the treatment in case of joint involvement after completion of treatment dry the body part and wrap it keeping it warm then explain the procedure and reassure the patient place the body part in the water encourage that is repeating then water temperature the uh, advice uh, temperature varies between 36 celsius and 41 celsius start, starting gradually until uh, reaching the maximum tolerance of the patient then treatment duration of uh, whirlpool bath is between 15 to 45 minutes now actions producing vasodilation improve local arterial and lymphatic circulation softening of scar tissues a uh, breaking down old adhesive after fracture or sprain cleaning and stimulation of wounds mechanically removing dirt dead tissues and pus causing regression of inflammatory process diminution uh, of edema and infusion the part of uh, part to be treated is immersed in the water and a jet of stream steam is allowed to produce turbulence in the hot water now there are some indications while taking the whirlpool bath uh if you have poor circulation chronic edema uh, separate dead tissues uh, pain relief in uh, amputations after removing of plaster cast stiff joint uh, infected wounds uh, with added uh, antiseptic uh, antiseptic agents arthritis with stiff and swollen joint uh, polyelitis and paraleg to improve circulation weak and painful feet as preparation uh, for massage specific stretching and exercises so all these we have to do and now the, there are some contradiction uh, also contraindications also in diabetes uh, if you have diabetes uh, varicose uh, veins advance uh, 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 atrioclerosis and advanced peripheral vascular diseases feverish patient recent skin grains circulation circulatory impairment active bleeding open wound hemorrhage or skin allergy now we have come to conclusion in contrast bath therapy is a series of brief repeated immersion in water uh alternating between warm and cold temperature research support 
the use of contrast hydrotherapy to lessen muscles fatigue and to decrease pain swelling and lactic uh, acid build up following these in uh, these intense exercises and you can use contrast hydrotherapy under the supervision or uh, supervision of a trained therapist or you can try it uh, at home by dipping your body or the injured body part into warm water for 1 to 3 minutes and then switch to cold water for 1 minute and repeat the process several times there are some risk for people with certain conditions be sure to talk to your doctor before you try this uh, intervention on your own now whirlpool path treating uh, is a physical therapy modality that is utilized to treat a few muscular and neurological dysfunction while the name might make it sounds threatening a harmless treatment has been demonstrated to have insignificant to no side effects so i hope you understood what is contrast bath and whirlpool bath when and how to use both the modalities with their techniques that's all for today see you next time thank you